Hey everybody, Marty here from San Diego Comic Con. Obviously the show is huge for TVs, movies, and comics, uh, but there are some games. I got a chance to go hands-on for an hour with Dead Rising 4. And this was mostly the same stuff we saw at E3. I didn't get to play it uh, then, but I finally got to play it now, and it was really great. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the original Dead Rising and Dead Rising 2, which, by the way, are coming to Xbox One and PS4 in September. Uh, super excited about that. But I really love the fact that this takes you, uh, it puts you back in the shoes of Frank West, the hero of the original game. Uh, it takes place back in Willamette, but this is 25 years after the first game, so instead of being sort of a, a young punk war journalist, you're a in your late 50s, down and out, burnt out journalist who's trying to reclaim the, the honor he once had in his profession. Uh, once again, Willamette is just chock full of zombies. Uh, they're you know pushing the boundaries on the number of zombies you can have on a screen. They said they've gotten well over a thousand, which seems that's just that's a large amount of zombies. Uh, the thing about Willamette is uh, this game is set around Christmas time. It felt like a Shane Black movie to me, which which I absolutely adored. Uh, and it's it's really capturing the heart of that consumerism that was in the original Dead Rising and also Dawn of the Dead. Uh, because, you know, the mall is still there, but the mall is a small section of Willamette. And so the rest of it, you have these shops and galas that are all, you know, prime for, for Christmas shopping. And so being able to loot these stores and find the weirdest weapons was so cool. Uh, one of the big things in this game is that power armor is situated throughout the city. And when you uh, pick up the power armor, you get about a minute, two minutes to just completely wreck shop. And it's not only are you are jumping in the air, ground pounding, punching dudes, knocking cars out of the way, but you're also able to grab a stop sign and rip it out of the ground. And so you have a chunk of concrete that's like just insane hammer. Uh, the combo system was awesome. There's insane vehicles. I got into this like little motorized go-kart that just had electricity around it, so I would just rush through, you know, mobs of zombies and just destroy everything in my path, uh, grabbing chain guns and just mowing everything down. Uh, at one point, I put this weird Christmas ball light on my hand, and every time I punched something, a bunch of items would come out of it. Uh, really cool. It's just capturing that same sense of insanity as the original, which I really liked. Also back is the uh, photography minigame, which plays a huge part in side quests, in uh, taking pictures of everything you see and trying to earn points, but also solving the mystery of just uh, what the hell's going on in Willamette and, and sort of helping Frank uh, clear his name. So yeah, after an hour, I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, we have a ton of footage on IGN, check that out. And we're gonna have so much more leading up to its December 6th release date. So for everything else, Dead Rising, Xbox One, IGN, Comic-Con, Zombies, most importantly, Shane Black, you're already in the right place, IGN.